and my how he has earned the right in this career. Three wins on the spin. He's been the WBO lightweight. Better but Both having a little look. A left jab. Back with a right hook over the top of the left hand. The hook has got the left Flanagan coming forward. It's good again from Flanagan. Sparring against the likes of Errol Spence and Terence Crawford. And claims important time, I think, at the early stages. Jab. Bizarre outside the ring. He's got eight kills. World title action, Terry Flanagan against Maurice Hooker. Answers go yet. Tries to that right hands the danger shots. Right hook though Flanagan when he's Antonio Barrera. Wee bit fanciful, but you never know. The hooker. You're not sure when he's gonna attack. There's the right. Not tonight. Well, what it does. Six to one against Maurice Hooker. The close cage you got. man. That's, this, that's a lovely straight. But when he attacks, you've got to make sure he keeps that foot. Maurice Hooker, and it's a little bit of a phony war, so. The, the best punch of the, of the wrong certainly came from Flanagan, that left hand there. But I think for me, those the few right hands that Hooker left. Better from Flanagan. Way when he's throwing. Moving out, moving anti-clockwise rather than clockwise. Yeah. Walking into the. Over reach. Comes from the top. I have that. Again, trying to step. It's good. The outside that jab. So, it's fundamentals. Again. And again. Got to come back with that right hook over the top. His own right hook. Danger factor of Hooker, the knowledge that one big right hand cagey affair, isn't it? That's a good left to four. That's how Barry's good work. Good, yeah. and it, no, he's got a nice long reach. He's had to get a bit more snap. Hooker. Perez, where he fought a draw. Oh, and he caught one there, balance, and that's why he looked so bad. He said, Don't hand in this round is Maurice Hooker. Really trying to whip that right hand in, and there's one around the back of the head. The referee's going to have to keep a close look at this one. The body. Maurice Hooker. Time and he's a. He fights. I remember that low punch all those years ago, which Ricky Hatton threw against yeah. Cotter to opponents. It happens. This is. Early in the round, just make two to attacks. Nine inch reach advantage. Going to have to keep all guidance he gets here. Because Hooker, dead butt from Terry Flanagan. So he, he did both the, yeah, one of them is definitely. Uh, it looked a wee bit premeditated, <laughs> yeah. didn't it? Right hand again there from. Oh, good shot there and squared up. And range. His foot's on the outside, that's why he's. That's... Well, he landed pretty flush there. Credit to Flanagan, though, took it and took it well. Oh, good left hand there from Flanagan. Hell, Hooker doesn't come fortunate to get away with it. Started to. Yeah. She's got a bit flat footed. Struggling with the man with Hooker, appropriately named, and another one. To be your heels on the floor, it is Hooker, you know, buying him up with that right hand. It's kind of big names in the division. He's destined to become body shot from Hooker. That's the right hand again, that's the better shot there from Hooker. And he's a uh, anxious time. Well, it we'll makes you so. Uh, oh no, the balls of his feet, foot on the outside. Look at that move. In the, in the round, he's got to get on the, he's got to get the, on the balls his feet. To do so, and on our card anyway, it's Maurice Hooker who's winning at this stage. He's right. trying to respond to what Steve Maylett in the corner told him so emphatically. I'm saying, get on the balls of your feet. You get your flow then, you, you can feel your power to, to knock someone out, but you're, you're picking up those points, you're frustrating, you're, you're frustrating. Hooker has been a professional. Interesting, the lead that big fight experience. Engine up to this point. Push it on the far side. Shot there from Hooker. Well, heels on the floor. Having a good round at this point. That's better. If he's involved in the after fight. Paul Gascoigne as well. 
good from Hooker there, doubling up with that right hand. Weep on the shot of Hooker. Pressure a little bit on Hooker, who misses a little bit clumsily with that. In fan. Second half of the fight, and Barry has it narrowly to Maurice Hooker. Shaded it to Flanagan. That's a good shot from Flanagan. Left hand there, and he just got him off. Back. It's cut and cut badly. They'll let it go through to the end of the round so they can work on it, but it looks as though he's got a gash. Eye has gone, and there's a great slash up above the nose as well. Horrible cut on his forehead. Fantastic run. Terry might know looking disorganized as Flanagan now really Flanagan's had so far, despite those awful cuts. And look at this. Flanagan fighting with real belief. May have been heads that caused all that damage. And the blood is flowing now into the eyes of Terry Flanagan. A call for no, we've got a minute to go. Another big left hand from Flanagan who's trying to spirit it's now. You got a punch three straight shots to push now. Very emphatically this a Flanagan round. Hooker trying to unleash big shots in the closing oh, seconds. Shot. And the combination. Well, the Kent punched himself out here. That's gonna go right into the eyes. Is this the way in which it goes? Oh, yes, intent there, but bang! Heads causing the damage. And Flanagan. No level, I think, John. Well, that's how it is, 67 apiece. But what sort of round? Well, I don't think there's any doubt about that, but the facial damage is so ex. Judges watching on. They have to facial damage and just look at the quality of the punches and the range and energy all these I don't think he's ever been cut in his career anything like this Terry Flanagan he's never had to deal with this sort of facial damage it's good there from Hooker Flanagan keep a nice tight gap and... to be faced looks spent in the last round that's good there for good shot Flanagan left hand but also Attacks no Flanagan. This is where you've wanted him to be. Back and off. Oh, good response over there from a Hooker. And again, good right hand. Dear, oh dear. The Claret. They think that they won it. The Flanagan corner. Because I think Hooker worked work through back into it there at the end of the round. Flanagan had a good start though. Three times he's got same age, but Lessex never gone the 12 round distance. On the front foot. No stage has he really been comprehensively outboxed as a few people thought that he might to crowd Flanagan. 20,000 people in here and Terry Flanagan needs that hometown support. Took a finish with the shot, he worked away. 23 Flanagan. Vince Parra was asking for an early part of the night. He's just getting caught on the way in, isn't he, Flanagan? And not throwing enough of his own at this stage. Oh. Well, it's been a fairly laissez faire oh. go. Yeah. Although, if he'd been overly the way, sometimes reps can't win. No. Just following him around. Three rounds to go. No, it's good. Thanks. To be honest, Hooker only really has a right. There's a lot of distance to travel. I did say Frank Hopkins is yeah. he's become one of the best. Okay, left hook there from Hooker. And again. There he goes. That's Look. better again when he gets up. Don't say it with a huge amount of confidence. Grounds are just a good combat. Backstage, Tyson Fury is next on after this. Following around the knees, forcing the face. Language in the corner. So there from, from Flanagan. But for me, well, you would think they both have to look at this. Really? Edge to Flanagan, then that would have been. Oh, good shots. Flanagan as well. 
told you about those eight kids he's got. He said, I've got mouths to fill. This is... <laughs> ...binding, hanging from that left wrist again, a termination of both men. Game success. And the scrap there, the That's good from Flanagan, and again. Oh, look at that from Hooker, good work. He knows he's not going to get no favours away from home. Well, that could be a factor. We've got a South... That's inevitable, isn't it? And that's always why you get the home advantage. Even if a shot's blocked, that's good from... Pride. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he wound up with that one. Graphing his intentions. Flanagan doing the same. He's hurting when they're pressing at that damage in the corner, and he's had that from an early... St the fight in your favour. And that la this last round's going to be the same, John. They both need it. Spit before what is sure to be an absolute storm. And what a start from Flanagan. What a start. Oh. He's oh. raining punches in. in. That combination, spin the head round the hooker. Hooker takes it, though, and he's trying to rally himself. Oh. Great. Great start to the round. We've only gone just over 30 seconds. Oh. Flanagan started brilliantly, but Hooker came back Good and night. is continuing. Will he be able to feed off the roars? And an oh, uppercut. Good uppercut, lovely shot. Scrappy Maul. Who's the fresher now? Flanagan, you've got to give him his credit. The face of the two men and you take... Swinging their way. And here comes Hooker. Who's going Very, very hard, gruelling, tough fight. Here's how Flanagan started that last round. Oh, tremendous. Tremendous, wasn't it? And it looked like Hooker was in. All of a sudden then, Hooker comes back with his own little barrage of punches, flurries. Caught. That's a lovely shot there from Maurice Hooker. most telling.